Well, this heart-shaped finial was a little bit fiddly, but we finally got it done and we've completed the handle portion. So let's turn this into a fireplace poker. I want to start our fireplace poker project with a piece of 3 quarter inch square bar cut 18 inches long. So that's 20 millimeter square bar, 460 millimeters long. I'm going to start by working on the heart shaped finial. I want to knock the corners off a little bit so it's going to be easier to get round edges when we start drifting this out. And then I'm going to slot punch it. That will be the opening for the heart as opposed to the typical slit and bend method. Remember to cool your punch off from time to time. I want to upset this back a little bit just for the purpose of opening the hole so that I can get a drift into it. Now if you don't have all these different size drifts, this might be a good time to stop and make a few new drifts. These can just be out of mild steel if that's all you have, especially if you're just going to use them a few times. Otherwise, just use your imagination, but you do want this ring to come out as evenly round and even walls as possible so that when we turn it into a heart shape, it's going to move symmetrically and not get little kinks and flat spots and things like that. That's our next step, is to turn this into heart shape. I'm going to start that in the vise with a chisel right at the top to push that top down. I'm not trying to cut it, but I do want a crisp line right there. Now I've never actually tried this technique before and while it's showing great potential it is coming out a little bit rough. It's really hard to keep this even. So I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. But the only way to find these things out is to try it. So I'm going to keep messing with it.
Well, this ended up being just a little bit more fiddly than what I saw in my mind, but I think we're on the right track, so let's go ahead and finish the handle portion of our fireplace poker. Since the heart was the main thing I wanted to experiment with today, I think I'm going to do a fairly simple twisted handle on this project, but I will chisel a line down two opposite faces before twisting just to give it a little bit more interest. Well, this heart-shaped finial was a little bit fiddly, but we finally got it done and we've completed the handle portion, so let's turn this into a fireplace poker. I want to draw this out. I'm going to reduce it to about a half an inch right below the handle and then slightly taper it to about three-eighths of an inch just before the poker end.
I am going to leave the poker in full width and offset it to one side so I can split the hook and get two hooks without having to forge weld. This is called a bridge tool. The top is made out of an old chunk of road grader blade or something similar. And then just whatever materials I had to weld it up and make it stand above the anvil far enough to be useful with a shank that fits your hardy hole. Nothing special about this particular design. Anything that gives you this gap to work over will get the job done. One side's kind of sharp so you can get something in there like this. The other side is a little bit more rounded if you're doing forks or something like that. I ended up with the hook about 90 degrees off of where I would like it, so I'm going to go ahead and put a twist in the middle of the shaft and bring the hook right back into line. Nobody will ever know the difference.
And we'll finish this with the usual Johnson's Paste Wax finish. Well, there's our little heart finial poker handle turned into a poker. Mostly I was interested in this idea. I just saw that in my head and was wondering how it would come out. Personally, I think if I used a little bit bigger ring, maybe twice as long as slot punch, I could have gotten a much better shaped heart. This is a little bit flat. And I think I would have liked it if it was a little bit taller, but I like the width of it. We didn't do anything too different with the point. I've shown this no weld split point before. Really a pretty good way to go if you start with heavy material. If you're starting with 3 8 bar, you're not going to be able to do this. But if you're starting with something like 3 8 by 1, or in this case, 3 quarters square, so we could draw that out and thin it out to 3 8 it works just fine. Thanks for watching. Hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video. Thank you.